Hello my friends and family of fellow Troy Collectors. Today we are looking at Hasbro PulseCon 2023 exclusives. See what's up for pre-order still was sold out. And as you see the mass morpher is sold out. Sorry guys, today is the 25th. And it's been up for pre-order since it dropped on the 22nd. So it has the Omega Rangers though, but they've been sold out and brought back, sold out and brought back. So will the Master Morpher be brought back? Who knows, but I got a short story to tell you about the Master Morpher, so we're going to click on it. So when this first dropped, the news about it, and hearing, you know, Jason David Frank's voice talking about him working with Hasbro, my first thought was, awesome, I want this Master Morpher. And longer it took to uh, reveal it in Singapore, I started going, you know what, I don't really need it. I got my custom Green Ranger, White Ranger, Morpher. I don't need it. But then Hasbro PulseCon drops, and they talk about suicide awareness, and I'm on the fence. My brother, that's actually my best friend, he lived with me for 10 years when we were kids, so he's more like a brother to me. Uh, I told him about the suicide awareness thing, and he says, David, listen up. You like a you're a person that likes to help people, so that's a good enough reason. And so you know, I was thinking about it. I went to work the next day on the twenty third, and um, something popped in my head, something in my little ear. And I I okay, a little side note, a different story. My mom passed away not too long ago, and she loved watching Power Rangers with me when MMRP first came out, and we we watched it together. She loved when Jason and Frank came on. She watched him become the Najeti, the White Ranger, the Turbo, the Zeo. She loved all that. She did. And uh, even before she passed, I got the Mark Richardson's Dragon Dagger. And I know her vision wasn't very good, but she got to see what she could see of it. Rest in peace, Mom. Rest in peace, JDF. But she was a big fan, and... I decided, you know, I need this again. Not because of JDF, but because my mom would love to see this and she would just be happy that something of JDF's would be in my collection that's something so big like this that JDF had a passion for. I know it sounds stupid or maybe ridiculous, but I'm buying this for JDF's memory. And I'm buying this for my mom's memory of me and her watching JD up being all these Power Rangers. We never watched the, you know, Thunder Black Ranger from Dragon, or Dragon, sorry. We never watched that series, but we watched the rest of them that they're presenting here. So yeah, guys, I'm buying this because of my mom. And uh, as you can tell, it's kind of hard for me to talk about my mom at the moment. Because, you know, that's what happens when you... Are so close to your family. Anyways, let's move on. Anyways, this thing looks amazing. Uh, I hope it comes back for people to pick it up. You know, JDF wanted all of his fans to be able to buy this that collected his, you know, figurines and everything else from Hasbro. So let's hope Hasbro brings it back for enough people to get it. So moving on, we got some Transformers Legacy characters here. I don't know much about Transformers, but they're still up for pre-order, guys. We got this one that sold out, this um, Bounty Hunter. Oh, this is a clone. Captain Reacts. I can't pronounce it. Sorry, guys. I'm kind of choked up now about the story. Anyways, he sold out. That helmet sold out. Uh, that helmet was $131. Wow, okay. So, more Star Wars. More Star Wars. Pretty cool. More uh, Star Wars. This Nerf gun looks pretty neat. And this Sandman, oh my god, look at this. They did a fantastic job. Sorry, guys. They did a fantastic job with this Sandman. Now, I didn't know. I didn't watch all the way through PulseCon because I got the information I wanted to see. And some of this stuff still new to me. But, uh... Oh, look at that. They had a big hand. That's really cool. I wonder what the balance is like on this guy. Anyways, let's continue on. Brought me back. Okay, so we got more. Oh, is that Daredevil? Is that Daredevil? I can't remember. 
That's Mary Jane. What Mary Jane's that from? So here's uh Spider Man. Oh, these are different Spider Man from different uh different movies. Okay, okay. Yeah, I don't know all the actors' names, but I believe this one's supposed to be Toby Maguire. And this is Hero's Quest. Okay. Continue on. Go oh, Transformers. G.I. Joe. So this guy almost feels like he's Doom Nukem. If you guys know what Doom Nukem is, leave a comment. Yeah, a lot of these are still up for pre-orders, so I'm kind of curious on why. Why haven't some of these sold out that, you know, they were expecting to sell out, like, that's Optimus Prime. I don't even have to look, I know. Uh, Magic the Gathering. Now, Magic the Gathering, I used to play as a kid, and, um, yeah, they don't look like that back in my day. Those cards look totally different. More Transformers. Oh, we got one that sold out. Cyberverse. Universe. Wind. Bat. Bat. Okay. And that's Bumblebee, is it? Yeah, that's Bumblebee. These are classic series? Yeah. One more page. Hopefully you're still with me. If you're still with me, leave a comment down below. And let me know what you guys think of, uh... Let me know what you guys think about Hasbro's, uh, selection this year. There's another Optimus Prime. This is still PulseCon exclusive. So wow, okay. Uh, this Star Wars is sold out. Here's a t-shirt. That's pretty cool. Okay, guys. So here we go with the t-shirts. What do you guys think of this one? As my Power Ranger fans out there, what do you think of this? Power Rangers, it's Morphin Time t-shirt. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Can you do better yourself? I think, honestly, some of these shirts they have in Hasbro, you could probably take your own Power Ranger stuff and take it to, like, a print shop, you know, if you have one of those print shops. Or even if you have a printer at home that does fabric printing, you could probably make it look better. But it's $27, man. It's $27. You guys can go pick it up, right? Uh, these are Hasbro PulseCon. Just the t-shirts. Just like their own specialized brand. That's kind of neat. Sorry guys, I'm kind of whispering if you could hear that. Uh, so yeah, that that is it. So you know what though? Since I'm on Hasbro and I'm a Power Ranger person, let's see what they have. Come on, you know I'm going to do this. Okay, so here, oh, this is just, okay, I don't want this. I want the actual ha Power Rangers stuff. Let's go brand. We're going to hit the MMRP. Oh, Power Rangers X Series, Super 7. Oh, this is that Super 7 selection. Guys, in the comments, leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think of uh, Hasbro Pulse doing Super 7. Uh, I'm not going to look at these. I already pre-ordered Bulk and Skull. Because I do not do variants. I am not buying this one. And this, guys, do not support this. Okay, this Green Ranger, do not support this Green Ranger. Yes, the head sculpts are beautiful. They're better than the ones I have on my original one of Super 7s. But you're paying so much more money for the glow-in-the-dark paint. Wait until it goes on sale on Entertainment Earth or something. Because it's not worth it. You're not even getting half... The accessories that you get with the original one that's only $55 and now it's like $45. I mean, I'm serious. You know, let me just show you so you can, so I can prove to you if you don't believe me. So here's everything it comes with. These head sculpts, beautiful. I love them. I think these ones look a lot better, especially this one. But all you're getting is the Morpher and the Dragon Dagger. You're not getting the Sword of Darkness or any of that. It's a waste of money. $65 just for glowing the dark paint. I'm going to tell you a secret, guys. They make glow-in-the-dark spray paint that is clear. That's right. That is clear. So this, not worth your time. 
Don't even worry about it. Let's uh move back to just standard Power Ranger stuff on Hasbro Pulse. All right, so looks like the White Ranger helmet is sold out finally, and so is the red red one still up for pre order. Sorry, Dragon Dagger sold out again. Not shocking. Of course, they're just showing these again because it's in there. So, 30th anniversary, still going strong, still on pre sold out and pre order, depending on the character. Um, some stuff's not even on pre order. Now you can just buy these straight out and no problem, it ships straight to you. So, Rita and uh, Mentor. Sorry. Now, I, I'll say, I'm going to click on Rita. I know I'm just kind of wasting the time here on this. This Rita looks like crap. And I don't mean the action figure. The action figure itself is amazing. It's great. The clothing, all that is amazing, even this. But I can tell you right now, between this and Super 7 Ultimates, the Rita face on here is basic. The one from Super 7 Ultimate has all the paint. You know, all the like lipstick and all that and everything. It is awesome. They did do a good job on the wand. I do like the sliding effect here that Super Seven doesn't do, and it's okay. I'm not a big fan of those. Uh, excuse me, guys. But yeah, that's about it. I mean, there's nothing special more than that. Sorry about this pop-up. My son forgot to close Discord, I think. So yeah, a lot of the Power Rangers 30th anniversary stuff you still buy. This is all old news here. So I'm going to stop here, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on my next video. Peace.